everyone and welcome or welcome back to the island of Musei. My name is Kara and today I will be showing you a quick and easy way to decorate your museum area for Christmas. This concept can easily be applied to other seasons, but I chose to go for a red and green color scheme that will look striking and festive against the snow. Before getting into the museum areas, I first created a walkway along the canal and lined it with trees. This will help section off the museum gardens from the rest of the island. Along the river, I placed some green wooden furniture, which is just to make sure there's enough space here for a future project. I'm hoping to emulate the little stands along the Seine in Paris, which mostly sell old newspapers, books, and other souvenirs. Next, I began blocking out my garden. I want to have some formal French hedges and plan to break it up a little bit with holly bushes and flowers for a festive effect. The hedges need to allow enough room to fit statues and the illuminated reindeer. After figuring out how wide the hedges needed to be, I was able to lay down some light dirt pathing. This looks extremely dull in the snowstorm, but I promise it will look much better in the snow. Because my island is based off the real city of Paris and not what I think looks the most beautiful, I use dirt paths to look like the pea gravel they use for paths in Europe in these kinds of gardens. If you do this on your own island, feel free to use a nicer path than just dirt. I do think it's nice this design works well with the in-game paths, and the arch tile especially would look really nice here. The cypress plants in the game are really nice as well for adding height to these hedges, and they also look like topiaries. The plants in the game are really nice as well for adding height to these hedges, and they also look like topiaries. I know not everyone likes to mix tones in their builds, but I enjoy combining winter mint greens with the green of my fake deer topiary and the bright green of the cypress plants, since it adds more variety. Winter is a very white season, so we can go back to being much bolder with our colors and break free of the constraints of autumn warm tones. After Christmas, I'm going to redo this area with all of the pastel flowers that I've banished to my beaches since the end of summer. Next, I worked on making a round area in the middle, and this was really important to me that there's space to walk around the fountain and the chairs. I'm basing this area off of a real-life Parisian garden fountains again, so feel free to make this your own by using iron garden benches or other items instead of wooden chairs like me. I think director's chairs would be nice, as would log benches or public seating. I also really enjoyed adding a few decoy ducks as a cute little detail. I don't want my island to feel too serious, which is what can happen when you stick to real life really closely, and ducks like these are important for bringing some life to the area. I then went around putting down some custom coats. The white flowers will help blend these edges into the snow, and they almost look like bits of snow already. The tiny blue flowers will add a little more detail and help ground the items. areas I added a beautiful statue and a tower of Pisa, but I was careful to rotate them in a slightly unusual way to make it more interesting. I also decided to tuck little familiar statues in front of them since the color will look really nice in winter. Two 
two flowers I really enjoy for this color scheme are the green mums and the red cosmos, which have a little yellow center that works really nicely. A lot of Christmas decorations include a bit of gold, so this is a nice way to bring that in without being overwhelmingly yellow. I then moved the museum to be centered on the garden. Remember to keep your center path an odd number of tiles wide, so that it will be centered on the museum entrance, which is three tiles wide. Here is my easy method for a dramatic museum without tons of terraforming or serious panel work. All you have to do is place two backwards wedding organs on either side with a simple panel in front. I like to use my fake Parisian windows, but I could also use fancier windows or a special museum exhibit themed custom design. Since I don't have extra design slots, I instead decided to use a painting as the exhibit sign. This is totally optional, but as you may know from my resident services makeover, I love to add fake rooftops behind my buildings for a more dramatic view of what's behind them, and also to help fill in what would otherwise be dead space. So back here I am making a little banquet area and overlook, which hopefully looks like those fancy balconies some Parisian buildings have. I used fireplaces for a cozy touch that will allow me to place items on top if I feel like decorating them. Then to the side of the museum, I extended the walkway to where I'd like to add a staircase up to the viewing platform, which will also connect with the cathedral. After seeing the build in the snow, I decided to add more white flowers and finally put in the stone staircase. I also swapped out the David statue for a Christmas tree. I really love those two miniature buildings from the garden, which were inspired by Loveless underscore DS on Instagram. She designed that beautiful window as well, and I decided to make even more of these little loft bed areas on either side of the new staircase because I miss her pose so much. Anyways, that's it for this build. It doesn't require a lot of fancy items because any statues can do, and you can always replace them with flowers or other items. There isn't any crazy terraforming either, so I really hope that this is an approachable build for you guys. I had a lot of fun trying to do more with less, even though I still love making projects with a million simple panels. Let me know what kind of builds you'd like to see from me in the future, and I'll try my best to make some. If you did enjoy this video, please consider giving it a like or even subscribing, which always means a lot to me. I also always love to see your builds inspired by these videos, and you can share them with me on Twitter and Instagram by tagging me at Nise. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have a happy and safe holiday season, and hopefully I'll see you again next time.